Okay, this will be the uh, final video for Algebra 1 for the quadratics unit. We're going to cover quadratic formula here. Okay, so the quadratic formula is given to you. All right, the key thing is you're going to have to be able to figure out what to put into it, how to simplify it uh, as far as the, the, the radical form goes. Uh, that's going to be the big thing, okay? Uh, because you can always find the solutions, all right? You always find the solutions with your Desmos, and I'll show you how to verify that, all right? So basically, let me explain what this means, okay? First of all, what the A represents, okay, what A represents is the number in front of the squared term. B represents the number in front of the non-squared term, and C is your standalone number, okay? So you gotta sort of understand what those, those are. Now, in order to do this, the first step, just like when we did solve by factoring, is making sure it's set equal to zero, okay? Now, the big thing in this is, the first big thing is, what this negative means is opposite, okay? That means opposite of whatever your B amount is, okay? And the second step is to use parentheses, all right, to set it up, okay? So the way this would work, the first thing when you would have to do, all right, the directions would be uh, up, right into the quadratic formula. Okay, so what I would do, all right, this is going to be my A, this is going to be my B, this is going to be my C. So the opposite of 5 would be negative 5, plus or minus, very simple, what's my B? It would be 5 squared minus 4, okay? What's the A? The A here would be two, okay? And then what's my C? That's going to be negative seven, okay? All over two times, what's my A? It's two, okay? So that's what you have to do first, all right? Now, what you have to do is figure out the part underneath the square root, okay? So what I'm going to do for that, okay, very simply, Okay, very simply is I'm just going to use my parentheses and do negative 5 squared minus 4 parentheses 2 parentheses negative 7. All right, and I get 81. So plus and minus square root of 81. I still have this negative 5 here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is multiply the bottom. Okay, so what that's going to be is 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, so you got to be able to do this. You got to be able to do this. Okay, now when it's in that form, you can always use Desmos to actually find out what the answer is. Okay, because in the end, all right, in the end, you got y, um, you got 2x squared plus 5x minus 7 equals uh, y. Okay, and you can always find what those are. Okay, all right. All right, and actually the last step is to, from the calculation, all right, uh, do plus with the square root, then divide, do minus with the square root, then divide. Okay, all right. So I could do negative five, plus the square root of 81, figure out what that is, then divide by four, okay? So one of the answers would be one, okay? So i or x equals one, doesn't matter, okay? And then negative five minus the square root of 81, divided by four, and you get your three, negative 3.5. And that's how you do the quadratic formula, okay? All right, and that's what we're gonna practice over the next few of these, okay? All right, all right, very simple. All right, once again, you're given the quadratic formula. Okay, what number is here? That's a one, okay? It's set equal to zero, so this is my A, this is my B, this is my C, okay? So when I put this in, the opposite of this now would be five, okay? Because the opposite of negative would be positive, okay? Then I got uh, negative five squared minus four, times uh, one times negative 36. 
all over 2 times 1. Okay, that would be the first step, is I want to get it to that step. The next step is to figure out what's underneath the square root. Okay, parentheses, um, negative 5 squared minus 4, 1, negative 36. Okay, 169. Okay, so 5 plus or minus square root of 169. I'm going to figure out the part underneath, which is 2 times 1, which is 2. All right, that's the second part. The third part is I'm just going to add the square root, then divide. All right, then I'm going to divide by 2. Okay, so first answer is 9. Okay. Uh, 5 minus the square root of 169. Figure out what that is, then divide by 2. That's negative 4. Okay, so those would be your two answers. All right, got to be able to do this at the very minimum, okay, with our quadratic formula. You know, if you're using Desmos, let me do the next one in the, in the Desmos form, okay? Now, before you jump right into using the quadratic formula, we've got a little issue here. This is not on this, is, is, it's got to be on this side. So we talked about this. When this moves from this side to this side, we got to change sign. The other thing we got to make sure we do is we make sure that it's in I squared, I, and then number order. So this is 2I squared minus 4I. In this case, it would be now minus 10 equals 0. Okay? So this would be my A, this would be my B, and this would be my C. So what does this mean? Opposite of this. So I got 4 plus and minus negative 4 squared minus 4 times 2, because that's my A, times negative 10. All over 2 times 2, because that's what my A is. Okay? I'll use the Desmos calculator in this case. All right? So parentheses, negative 4 squared, okay? Minus 4 times 2 times negative 10. Okay, I get 96, okay? So four plus and minus square root of 96 all over whatever two times two is, which that would obviously be four. All right, four. Okay, so I got this, I got this. Now, all I gotta do is uh, figure out what uh, the, uh, the square root is here. So four plus square root of 96, okay? Hit over here, then divide. No, whoops. Uh, I guess in decimals we're going to have to do parentheses around this. Okay. Uh, divided by 4. Okay. All right, so that's 3.44 for my first answer, which you're allowed to get. Okay. Uh, real easy shortcut would be in decimals is just to put the minus there. Okay, and you get negative 1.4. Okay, because it's the same thing. All right. Let's do two more examples, okay? I got this, okay? So what's going to happen here? This has to move back over. Now, if it's negative four on this side, it's now gonna be positive four. So I got negative three i squared plus seven i. Now this is gonna be positive four equals zero, okay? So this is my a, this is my b, this is my c, okay? So opposite for b, b, opposite. So instead of seven, it would be negative seven. Plus and minus 7 squared minus 4 times my a, which is negative 3, times my c, which is 4. All over 2 times negative 3. Okay, so you got to be able to do that. Now, i got to figure out the part underneath the square root. Show that in Desmos again. All right. Okay, so i got uh, a 7, all right, squared, all right, minus 4, then negative 3. And then 4. Okay, 97. Square root of 97, negative 7 plus or minus. Uh, do 2 times negative 3. Which is negative 6. Okay, got to be able to do that. To find the final answer, all right, um, I'm going to go ahead and use parentheses. Desmos a little more difficult than Casio, so negative seven. Whoops, let me use my parentheses here. Uh, I would do parentheses negative seven plus square root ninety 
seven. Closing. Divided by, make it six. Tells me negative 0.47. Now, very simply in Desmos, all I have to do is go back and change that to a minus, and I get 2.8. Very easy to do that, okay? All right, from the, the Casio, if you're doing that, you just have to type in the square root, get an answer, and then divide by negative six. Let it take you the same thing. Two point eight. Okay. All right. So that's how you do that. All right. <clears throat> okay. So on this one, last one we're gonna do here. I gotta move this back over. So if it's positive forty i, when it moves back over, it's going to become negative forty i. Now I gotta make sure that I got 4i squared minus 40i plus 25 equals zero. Make sure I change the sign and then put it in the correct order. So this is my a, this is my b, this is my c. Okay, so the opposite of negative 40 would be positive 40 plus or minus uh, negative 40, then the squared minus four times four in this case, times 25 all over two times my A, which is four. So A is here, C, it's pretty much just fill it in letters, okay? All right, so what I got is I got uh, negative 40 squared minus four times four times 25. This is 20. Let's change this up. No, not to give me the answer that I want. Let's change this real quick. Sorry for those just watching the video to learn. Let's, let's go back and change that to a negative 20. And I think that's good. Yep, that's good. All right, so I get zero. All right, so 20 plus or minus the square root of zero all over. All right, let's do uh, two times four. That's eight, okay? So I gotta be able to do this, gotta be able to do this. Let's figure out this part. Okay, so um, I'll do it in Casio. All right, it's uh, 20 plus square root of zero. Figure out what that is, divided by eight, get 2.5. Then I do uh, uh, 20 minus the square root of zero divided by eight, okay? That's 2.5, and that's an example of the touch. That means that that touch, that's the concept, okay? So I'm gonna give you guys four of those to try on your own, all right? What you're gonna have to be able to do is you're gonna have to be able to uh, uh, get them uh, down and set up the quadratic formula and then simplify the quadratic formula. Okay, all right, so this will be, I'm already set equal to zero, so this is my A, this is my B, this is my C. Okay, so A, B, C, so I would have opposite, that'd be five, plus or minus, all right, negative five squared, minus four times, my A would be two, my C would be negative 12, all over two times my A, which would be two, okay? All right, interest the speed of this video, I'm just going to, uh, Show this, this the things in Casio. So negative five squared minus four, uh, two, negative twelve. Okay, it's one twenty-one. So five plus or minus square root of one twenty-one, all over two times two, which is four. Okay, all right. So I got to get this. I got to get this. Okay, all right. And then five plus the square root of one twenty-one. And then divide by. Four would be four. Okay, uh, five minus the square root of 121 divided by four, negative 1.5. Okay, all right, <clears throat> this moves back over. 
negative 64 on this side will become positive 64. Okay, okay there's a one here, so this would be my A, this would be my B, this would be my C, okay? Make sure you have it in the right order, make sure when that moves back over, it becomes positive. So if that's negative 16, when that goes in there, it becomes positive 16, plus or minus, okay, negative 16 squared, minus four times one times 64, all over, three times one, okay? Once again, I figure out the part underneath the square root, All it is is typing. Zero. Square root of zero all over two. Okay, that's what two times one is. Okay, so I would do 16 plus square root of zero. That's 16 divided by two would be eight. Okay, it's uh, 16 minus the square root of zero divided by two would be eight. Got the double answer, okay? All right, so you got to be able to do this part and this part, okay? All right. <clears throat> All right, last two questions. Okay, one of them has already been set equal to zero for us. This is my A, this is my B, this is my C. So I would put opposite of four would be negative four. Four squared minus four times my A, which is negative eight, my C, which is seven. All over two times negative eight. Okay, all right, figure out the part underneath the square root. Okay, make sure you use parentheses. Parentheses make this so easy. That's 240, so negative four plus or minus the square root of 240, all over two times negative eight is negative 16. Okay, to figure out your answer, negative four plus the square root of 240, all divided by negative 16, negative 0.71, negative four minus the square root of 240, divided by negative 16, 1.21. Those are my answers for that one, okay? Now this one gotta be careful because this is gonna move back and it's gonna go from positive 12i to negative 12i. Now, I would write this as 5i squared minus 12i plus seven equals zero. Very important, the order, okay? So this is my a, this is my b, and this is my c, okay? So opposite of negative 12 would be positive 12 plus or minus, okay? Negative 12 squared minus four times, my a is five, my c is seven. 2, okay, my A is 5, okay? If you stay organized, a lot of this stuff is just really easy, okay? So it's negative 12 squared minus 4 times 5 times 7. This gives me 4, so 12 plus or minus the square root of 4. What's this bottom part? It's 2 times 5, and that's going to be 10, okay? All right, got to do that, got to do that, all right? Now, I would do 12 plus the square root of 4, divided by 10, 1.4, okay, 12 minus the square root of 4, all divided by 10, that's going to be 1, okay? And so that's the quadratic formula. Just takes a little bit of practice, use parentheses, okay, that's the big thing.